My name is Marina Abramović. I am a performing artist. Cut deeply into the finger of your hand. Eat the pain. I have always wondered how the brain of an artist really works. What do they see that the rest of us do not? And why the hell does some lame scribbled painting that looks like a small child spilled a few colors seem exactly like that to us? And to them, it is some kind of priceless masterpiece. These are the questions to which I would like to receive an answer, and I deeply believe you will like that as well. However, although us poor, uneducated people will probably never realize or understand it, we certainly cannot escape the impression that the work of some of these people really stands out and lean more towards shock and disbelief. Because you have lame paintings, you have ridiculous invisible art, you have a banana taped on canvas, <laughs> and then you have the work of Marina Abramovic. For those of you who don't know, Marina Abramovic presents herself as an artist who has a rather <laughs> unusual style. That style causes a lot of controversy, not only in Serbia, her homeland, but all over the world. And it is precisely because of her unique style that she has often found herself in a crosshairs of some theories. Now, I won't say conspiracy theories, because I don't overly believe in that expression myself. But, accordingly, let's ask some logical questions. Is Marina an artist for herself or for the sake of somebody else? Is Marina a genuine artist or a worshipper of Satan? <laughs> you maybe wonder how in the world did we go from painting fields with flowers to glorifying an actual devil? But I assure you, stick with me and you'll see that I'm not insane. Well, at least not completely. Because let's be honest, her performances are anything but standard. So, with that being said, let's get this list started. The body art in which Marina began to examine the limits of psychophysical endurance is related to the festival in Edinburgh in 1973. The performance with 20 knives was the first in the series of 10 actions called Rhythms, and Marina then inflicted minor bodily injuries on herself for the first time. She used the knives by sticking them quickly between her fingers, and whenever she cut a finger in a hurry, she would take another knife. Her initial idea was to match the beater's rhythm so that she always knew in advance when the knife would touch her skin. 
In the action, Rhythm 5 performed at the April meetings in 1973. She exposed herself to new dangers. She actually lit a fire around five point at star, and after burning locks of hair and nails, she lay down in its center. She almost suffocated, and it took the audience a long time to understand that Marina was not pretending to be in trance, but really lost consciousness. <laughs> well, this is getting weird, sort to say, but hold on. In the Gallery of Contemporary Art in Zagreb, in Croatia, in 1974, she took tablets for the treatment of acute schizophrenia in front of the audience, wanting to bring her body into unpredictable psychophysical states, such as muscle spasms, loss of orientation, etc. And after that, she wanted to feel similar effect under the influence of physical forces. But then came a performance from Naples in 1974, which has the official name Rhythm Zero. The performance included a full 6 hours of standing still along with 72 objects on the table, among which were perfume, honey, bread, scissors, nails, a metal rod and even a gun with one bullet. Abramovich wanted to do a performance by doing absolutely nothing while she allowed all the people who were present at a time to use any of the offered items on her in a way that they wanted. In the end, she ended up with cuts, torn clothes to bare skin, and even a gun under her neck, all for the aim of seeing to what limits human behavior can go. Other mentionable, let's call them side geeks, were staring into the eyes of a donkey, and as we said at the beginning, mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing with your partner, licking some concrete, and carving some symbols into your skin. Yeah, seems like fun. Naturally, that was just not enough. One of the most horrifying performances, called Balkan Baroque, involved removing the meat from the cow's bones over the course of several days. Marina spent six hours every day cleaning hundreds of bones. In the dark and stuffy basement, the stench that spread from the rotting flesh was terrible. People who came to see the performance held handkerchiefs over their noses and mouths. Since the performance lasted for several days and took place during the summer months, the worms began to appear in the bones. Marina came every day, put on a blood-stained white dress and stayed in the basement for a full six hours. As she says, the goal of this performance was spiritual cleansing and symbolism over the war that was taking place at a time. However, nothing has caused so much controversy and the development of numerous theories, as the thing called spirit cooking. An event that would normal person consider as bizarre and morbid. But for Marina and many Hollywood and music stars, it is completely normal. Marina would organize dinners where food is served in the form of human bodies or corpses. And those types of dinners would only have exclusive guests, such as movie stars, singers and even politicians. Now, that same guests would often take their part in this and have fun with cutting out imaginary organs. Now, me personally, I cannot find any resemblance with anything other than cannibalism. You know, just chilling around some human heads and eat some body parts. <laughs> Seems like a perfectly fine way to spend an evening, if your name is Jeffrey Dahmer. And it is no secret that many stars collaborated with Marina, whether it was because of some spiritual upliftment or something else. There are even rumors that on one occasion she left Lady Gaga completely naked in the middle of the forest to find her way back. <laughs> Bizarre. Then for example, this guy. The guy you may know from the cult movie American Psycho, or in the role of possibly the worst Joker ever to appear on the big screen. A guy who was also seen to attend these kinds of dinners. And to be perfectly honest, he's not the only one. Many, many more people from the music or film industry have passed through the hands of Marina Abramovic. And there is the same question for all of them. Why? And if there is something that is not missing when her name is in question, there is accusations. 
starting with brainwashing, through implementing some ideologies, all the way to practicing witchcraft and performing ritualistic practices. She said that she was just sick of all of that, and that she hoped it would all be over soon. But Marina, come on bro, <laughs> you paint over the wall with pig's blood, have a stare down with a donkey, carve pentagrams on your body, I mean. And I know all this is a lot to take, but you thought the weirdness ends here. Nah, I got one more for ya. There was an artist called Vito Atonci, who in 1972 had a performance called the Seed Bed. He hid under a slanted surface installed on the floor of a gallery. Watched the visitors go into the gallery and <laughs> he played with himself over the course of 8 hours. And he did this 3 times per week. Aquanchi spread his gasping voice through the gallery using a speaker, which the visitors of the gallery, naturally, could hear. In Marina's version, she performed the work at the Guggenheim Museum. In this performance, Marina hid under a circular stage and continually, well, once again, played with herself. The voice she created covered the whole museum with a large speaker, and with the spread of her voice, even the spiral exhibition space of Guggenheim Museum created a sexual feeling. When she reached to the zenith of this feeling, she was done, and within several minutes, she started again, for 7 hours, in front of 300 people in that space. She just kept, quote, performing, end quote. After you probably suffered permanent brain damage and your day and appetite is officially ruined, I would like to ask you one simple question. Do I look or sound like a guy who wears a tinfoil hat on his head <laughs> after I told you all these stories? Do I seem crazy? Because for me personally, I can't find any normal thing about these performances. Worshipping the devil or whatever, maybe a bit too far-fetched, but again, I don't know, something is definitely off. Or, again, maybe you and me both don't know a thing about art. But one thing I do know is that if this is art, I'm glad I don't have any talents for it. Write me in the comments your personal point of view, and until the next documentary, find yourself a donkey to keep you company. <laughs> See you next time.